Hey, what is going on guys? Hex Competitive back in today with a brand new video. And man, videos like these are the ones you never really know how to start off because you don't know where, you know what people are going to want to talk about because there's just so much to talk about. And they're also the videos that you simply don't know how to end. And that's exactly what this video is today. Uh, I, I hate these videos. I love these videos. But they're so damn difficult to figure out where to even begin because I could go on a rant. I could go on a tangent about nonsense and then repeat myself because of the emotional value in which these kind of shows, series, episodes kind of thrust into you. And I think that embodies exactly what ReZero is. The show, you know... And so I'm at a point to where when I watch this show and I watch this series and then I, I see my opinion on it, I see others' opinions on it, and I and I, of course there's the crazy opinions. And you know, this is a good piece of writing, and I no, this is a good piece of writing, and I refuse to believe otherwise because I know what I'm watching, I know what I've watched, I've done the comparisons, I've contrasted, I've done all these things with other shows, and this show just it does everything. It, it just does everything, man. And it does it in a way with such like fluidity and the way the show flows, the, the messages that's getting across, the art, whenever the animation wants to kick in, it will. Just wait till the next, se uh, not next part two of season uh, two, but like season three, it's going to do it all. And I don't know what, I know what animation is coming in season three. Not that I know what's going to exactly be happening in season three, but I know animation will be coming and it will be something that it needs to be a focal point in a sense. So ReZero episode 13, season two, part one finale. You know, I look at this episode and I guess maybe let's start with Roswell since that's been really kind of the running, the running thing before we get to the whole witches thing. And I love that. And I hate that Roswell literally is trying to mold Subaru, put him in a corner, as he stated, and essentially mold him into another Roswell. Everything is a means to an end. Whatever your overall, you know, your overall goal is, whatever your specific goal is, that's the thing you need to get to, no matter what the cost, sacrifices or not. And I love Subaru saying, I'll never be you, but also slowly kind of losing his mind, getting delirious. And I, I love that. To find out Roswell was the dude pulling the strings to make sense. He knew Subaru could return by death. He knew how he could manipulate that. He didn't know necessarily know what the checkpoint was, per se, maybe. But maybe that book told him. Maybe his book still writes things, as Beatrice's book does not, as he indicates and or hints at, right? And I look at that scene, and I think about it. And I think about what Subaru's been through. I think about every damn thing that he's gone through. And wow, trying to make him choose something trying to make him choose a path, trying to literally break him. He is the one that called the assassins, and I just could not believe it. I'm, I'm just, I'm so dumbfounded that, like, it was him. I, I mean, I figured that maybe it could be him, but I was like, he's in bed. How could he have done that? No, he saw the future with his book, and he predicted what was going to, you know, he well, didn't predict he saw what was going to come, and he's making him make a choice. What do you value the most? And he wants Subaru to choose the path that he, Roswell wants, not the one he owns. You know, he, you know, not the one Subaru wants. Now, you look at this. Roswell does not hate Subaru. He hates what Subaru stands for. He hates who Subaru not necessarily is overall, but he hates who he is in, in certain aspects. He does not, he, his resolve, you know, the, the, the resolve thing is interesting because anyone's resolve can be different. My resolve is this for this reason. My resolve is this for that reason. My resolve needs to be this in order to get to that. And that's kind of what Roswell, Roswell is 400 years ago. Roswell's been around a long time, clearly. Now we know that. Whose eyes looked at him and changed his life? I don't know. But nonetheless, it's 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 wrong. He's corrupt. And he's in... Uh, how, how do you get past this? How do you change Roswell's mindset? Because Roswell will always be there. Let's say you defeat the assassins this time. Will you defeat, defeat the assassins next time when he sends them again? When he sends you know other ones? How will you be able to convince the people around you that Roswell's no good? How do you do that? Because from what I'm seeing, I was trying to find a silver lining. I was like, is there something that Roswell is trying to teach him through all this craziness in order to make him come out stronger on the other side? Yeah, but not in a good way. He's trying to... Here's the, here's the issue. Subaru has a goal. Everyone. I'm bringing everyone with me. Roswell, no, you're going to sacrifice some of them. 
you're going to harden up. You're going to become a person who is, is, is so determined over one person that you're not even going to notice the others because they're all a means to an end. And that's messed up. You don't sacrifice lives for a means to an end. So that whole scene is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, after everything Subaru just went through, too, and with the witches, you still see how, you know, just because words do mean things to you, but physical, visual events that take place in your life will always test your resolve, will always test your determination. So, and that's realistic. Subaru should have felt to, fell to his knees after he realized what was going on. He felt helpless. He got rejected from the trials by Etchina. Subaru rejected her. She rejected him right back. And wow, look where we're at now. So looking at other things, what do I believe Subaru can do to fit to help this? Well, one, we saw the auto at the end, very ending scene. Garfiel, He's afraid of the outside world. You need to get him out in the outside world somehow, some way, and save the others. I mean, but at the same time, now we know that Subaru needs to value his own life. As this episode sh showcased and stated, you need to value yourself. The reason why you're cowardly, the which Aras said, is because you desert yourself. You you forsake yourself, right? You don't value your own life, and you don't think other people value it either. And that's why in the second trial, he got to see how a lot of people cared and were pissed off about his actions whenever he easily took his own by his ability to return by death. And I get it. I understand it. I see what she is going for. And, I mean, at the same time, you are. If you desert yourself, you are a coward. Because if you can't be there for yourself, how can you truly be there for anyone else? Yeah, you can be there for them, but can you really be there for them? Can you really give it your all? Can you really support them? You can never maximize your potential if you don't make sure you don't forsake and or desert yourself in the process. You can't get through those things. I mean, you got to dig deep sometimes in life. And I mean, it's just, it's a thing to where I really like that because it makes you, the you know, person watching the episode, the person watching this video, I'll even reiterate it, you have value. You value, you're valuable to someone. You're valuable to something even. Even if it's not someone, there's something you can do in life that will be valuable. And that's all that matters, man. And I struggle with that. It happens. I, I get that. It's You're gonna... Then that's what the whole reali you know realism in, in Rizu is. For every step forward in life you take, you will take half a step, you know, half a step back. Maybe a full step back. Maybe a couple. It's about keep going because if you keep going, you're gonna keep climbing. And that's all that matters. And from a mental aspect, from a maybe a business and career aspect, any kind of aspect, that's what that means. And, you know, at the same time... Who this the witch of envy, right? It this looks exactly like Amelia. And I even said last time, I was like, why was technically the witch of envy outside of the ruins whenever he was laying next to Amelia, but then all of a sudden Amelia's not there? Well, the witch didn't come inside. We knew that, right? It, we, it, she didn't come inside, clearly. And if she did come inside, she would have grabbed Subaru too and swallowed him up with her shadows originally back in what, what episode nine. So I'm under full belief. The Witch of Envy is Amelia. It's just the other side of her. And if it's not Amelia, then it's their mom. Nonetheless, I still do not understand why Amelia was not laying next to Subaru in episode nine. I mean, I don't. And here's the thing that really gets me with all this. You saved me, so I'm going to save you, which would indicate why she gave him that power, which would also indicate Subaru did not have the power until he got there. And the only person he, he saved that looks familiar to the Witch of Envy is Amelia. Think about that. So that would indicate Amelia is the is Satella. But maybe it's an alternate personality. Maybe Satella and Amelia live within one another. And she even I mean, think about that. It makes too much sense. It all points that direction. Wow. It just it just revelation. It can't be anyone else. She would have picked up Subaru. She wouldn't have just left him into the temple. She looks exactly like Amelia. Uh, I mean, I just, just, I'm just trying to put the clues together, man. You saved me. Well, Subaru's only saved one person that would he ever resemble that witch of envy, and that is Amelia once again. I, uh, that's tough. That's a hard pill to swallow. I just don't see it any other way unless there's something I'm missing here. 
Um, I'm got I no spoilers in the comments. If you don't see me uh, reply in the comments, it's because I'm trying to protect myself from spoilers uh, potentially. And th that's the only re logical reasoning I see who the Witch of Envy actually is. It's either Amelia fully, or it's another half of Amelia, or maybe it's even Amelia's mother. Because once again, whenever she's on the ground, she said father, Puck. She never said mother. Uh, it just makes a lot of sense. I mean, in, in in order to form a contract and or whatnot with a witch. I'm pretty sure you do have to grab grab their hand, and I did see Mother's Basement actually put something on Twitter that resembled him holding her hand in episode one, which that means once he did that, maybe that's when the contract was formed. So that's that's the impression I'm under, I'm under now. That wow, that's tough, man. This these videos suck. They're hard. The emotional. Uh, no time for professionalism. It's time for realism. It's time for actually enjoying and discussing this awesome awesome show with you guys and i'm dumbfounded i am impressed i'm somewhere beyond impressed i'm amazed that's what it is i'm amazed so but look i gotta look down my notes here to make sure i just do cover everything i do really want to co uh, cover up now looking at some other things here because lo looking at what i actually have written down so man oh man <laughs> these are the videos once again i hate to make they're hard to end. They're hard to start. But I look at the whole everything that's gone on in ReZero, and I wonder where we go from here. Garfiel has to be a key to helping this. Otto says, quit putting on a tough front in front of your friends. And who, I mean, he's he's tried to get Ram to help him, but he needs Otto. He needs Ram. He needs probably even Amelia. If Amelia can actually technically even leave. But at the same time, every time Subaru leaves, you see that the snow comes because the Roswell, you know, basically gives off mana to gravitate the rabbits there. It's just what, Rizu, Garfiel, can they help? What can the, they do as a group in order to get through this? And I mean, it's weird because Roswell wants Subaru to be the one to go through the trials. I don't know why specifically. Um, we, there's more. To, we don't know what the, the, the third trial technically is. Super has clearly gotten through two, but we still don't know what the third trial is, and that's huge. So now I also want to do jump into the witches here. That's one thing I really want to talk about. We even get to see the witch of sloth and all of them even help Subaru. She, one of them, the witch of sloth even says, "I support him mentally. I mean, from an emotional standpoint, I I, I feel for him. I I'm with him. I'm I'm on his side from an emotional standpoint. What he's going through is messed up." But from the other standpoint, it's his choice, and he has to make his choices or else he'll never get anywhere, right? We can't save him every time. He has to make choices. He has to learn. And the, the green-haired witch tries to help him, right? Or not help him, tries to defend him. And then you have Wrath that tries to, well, keep him from just offing himself. And it's really cool to see how each witch has their own reason and how they are supporting him because that's just not something that we would have thought originally, right? And that's, it's just so odd because we don't truly understand the witches. Technically, the Witch of Envy is the one that's supposed to, that was supposed to be the one that actually, well, got rid of all the other witches, right? Eradicated them. Why is she there? Why do they respect her? Why are they trying to say it's ungrateful to that, to that witch uh, for you acting in such a forsaking manner of yourself? Why is that ungrateful to her? Oh, because she gave you that power? Why do you guys respect someone and or a witch and or you're somewhat scared of a witch that simply eradicated you from existence and made you live in like this spiritual world? There's a lot of stuff here that we don't understand about the Witch of Envy still. I really, 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 really hope they dive back into that because we need more context. For someone that big of a personality... We need more context. For someone that looks so much like Amelia, we need more context. That needs to be a focal point. We need to understand who she is. A very vague way of introducing her while making her such a focal point. But nonetheless, it's supposed to make us kind of be mind, mind, mind fucked, right? So, man, ReZero. You're not done yet, though. This is a goodbye, but not forever. You're coming back in a few months, and I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm already ready. I'm locked in. I'll be waiting, I'll be thinking about it, and I'll be thinking about you guys that show your support in these videos and come watch these videos. But if you guys could, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter X25. You guys have been hexed, and I cannot wait to see you guys and the other reviews, reactions for the series. I hope to see you guys there. I love seeing you guys in the comments. I love discussing anything and being able to put out, put out these videos to viewers in general, right? Pennies, dimes, and cents, I don't care. 
this is something I want to talk about, and I really, truly, genuinely enjoy talking about this series, and I hope you guys can tell that by the tone of my voice. Uh, it's passion. This is passion. This is, I love this series. This is the best series in anime. I don't care who you are. I don't care who, what you like. That's my mindset. That's what I believe in firmly. That's my resolve, right? My resolve and determination to to support this series is unbound, and it just is so amazing. So, type A. You're an amazing author. You're incredible. You are the best author I've seen in any medium. And I, that's, I don't even hesitate at saying that. So as always, guys, I'll be sure to uh, see you guys next time. And yeah, I, I got to get out of here. I can't even finish the video right. I What I say? What I say? I'm going to reiterate myself. So see you guys. Peace. Thank you so much for watching.